In this video, we're going to talk about the rules for multiplying and dividing integers, which are actually a little bit simpler than the rules for adding and subtracting integers. You see, the, if the signs are the same, the answer is simply positive. And if the signs are different, the answer is negative. And I highly recommend that you jot this down. You may want to pause this video and write it all down, and then we'll do some examples. If the signs are the same, the answer is positive. If the signs are different, the answer is negative. In other words, a positive times a positive is a positive. A negative times a negative is a positive. A positive times a negative is a negative. And a negative times a positive is a negative. And this can actually, these rules actually apply also to division. I can change these to division signs. And the rules still apply. A positive divided by a positive is a positive. A negative divided by a negative is a positive. A positive divided by a negative is a negative. A negative divided by a positive is a negative. So if the signs are the same, the answer is positive. If the signs are different, the answer is negative. <clears throat> now, let's go back to the multiplication for a minute. And we'll try some examples. Let's start with negative 8 times positive 2. First of all, you ask yourself, what's 8 times 2? It's 16. But it's a negative times a positive. That's down here. The answer is going to be negative. Pretty simple. Okay. How about positive 8 times negative 3. First of all, 8 times 3 is 24, but a positive times a negative is a negative, so this is going to be negative also. Okay, let's try some different ones. Well, let's try multiplying two negatives. For instance, negative 8 times negative 2. Negative 8 times negative 2. Negative times negative is a positive because if the signs are the same, the answer is positive. So the answer is simply positive 16. We don't really need to write the plus sign unless you want to. If the sign is not there, it's automatically positive. <clears throat> now let's try doing just a few division problems and then we'll be done. Get rid of this. Okay. Let's start with positive 36 divided by negative 6. And I'll put that in parentheses. Positive 36 divided by negative 6. And remember, these rules apply also to division. Okay, so I've got a positive divided by a negative. If the signs are different, the answer will be negative. And 36 divided by 6 is 6. So it's negative 6. How about, well, let me erase this. I just want to remind you that there is there are two ways to write a divide sign actually three ways some people write it diagonally like that but uh, you may see it in your math book like this negative 16 over 8 for example this is a fraction bar but it's also a divide sign that means negative 16 divided by 8 well a negative divided by a positive is a negative First of all, what's 16 divided by 8? It's 2. Ne negative divided by a positive is a negative. So we put a negative sign on that, and the answer is negative 2. Let's just do one more, and then we'll wrap it up. How about negative 22?
divided by negative 2. By the way, these rules apply whether you have real numbers, rational numbers, about any kind of number. We're, we're getting integers for all of our answers here. On purpose, I'm trying to keep it simple. But if you get a decimal value or a fraction, that's okay. The rules still apply. Okay, a negative divided by a negative is a positive. That's up here, the same signs, the answer is positive. So first of all, 22 divided by 2 is 11. And a negative divided by a negative is positive, so the answer is positive 11. And you can write the plus sign if you want, but you don't have to. Because if the sign's not there, it's automatically positive. And I hope this has helped you understand a little better the rules for multiplying and dividing integers. See you in the next video.